Hey guys, it's Jonathan from Bullet Motorsports. Right next to me, we have a 2004 Dodge Ram SRT10. This is powered by a Viper V10, 500 horsepower, six speed manual transmission, 22 inch wheels, and this thing runs amazing. We're gonna take it for a test drive, do a full walk around, let you decide if this is the right truck for you. If you have any questions in regards to this or any of the other inventory you're seeing next to me, just give us a call at 954-363-2261. Let's go for a ride. Okay, so overall appearance, I'd rate this a seven out of 10. It does have minor imperfections and there is paint work present. It does look extremely nice. Uh, you've got that, that front grille that actually is functional. So let's start off with under the hood because that's what's so cool about this truck. This is the fastest production truck ever produced until they pulled out the TRX, which now has a Hellcat motor in it. So right here you have a V10. It's made it to a six-speed manual transmission. The only modifications on this one would be the Volant air intake, which actually uses the factory hood scoop for cold air. And then it does have a muffler set. That's it, that's all there is on there. There's Mazzino. Good detailer right there. Headlights do have a little bit of haze, but they're not bad. This probably would come out with a, with a polish. Bumper looks really good. Underneath it is extremely nice. So if you want to see underside shots of this truck, click on the link below. It's going to give you the gallery. We're going to be running this on Bring a Trailer, which is an auction format site. So if you don't see a price listed, that means it's going to Bring a Trailer. Also in the description, we're going to list that it's headed to auction. The differences between this and a Hemi truck or just a regular uh, short bed truck, you're going to have the badging, the side cladding, front bumper and hood. The cladding will go throughout the whole entire vehicle. Paint is nice. You can see that the, they did do some paint work here on the quarters. That's why the rubber has red on it. It does have a bed cover, which is great. It does seal properly, and there is a liner inside of here. You're going to also have the SRT10 badge right here and the signature dual exhaust that comes out the back with a flared exit for the bumper. There are minor imperfections that could be noted here. Tail lights are extremely nice. Bed's clean, it does have line X. And I've driven this for close to 500 miles with no issues at all. Tires are getting there, so they have about 50%, 40% tread left. And after this video, they're probably gonna have way less. The wheels do have a little bit of oxidation. And those are the original wheels similar to the Viper from that era. I think it was from 04 or 05 to 07 or 08. S uh, similar style, just a smaller diameter. Interior is extremely clean. You're gonna have the SRT10 badging on the uh, glove box top. And then you do have an infinity system. So there's a subwoofer included with the, with the actual factory stereo. Um, there is an aftermarket head unit in there, so you have Bluetooth capability, which I actually like. So you can use Sirius XM, etc. You do have a Her shifter, and it's a six-speed manual, and the clutch is extremely nice. Steering wheel is in great shape as well, and all the door cards are very nice. Carpet is nice, there's no funny odors. No smoke. Quarter looks good. Let me start it up so you can hear it. So my only pet peeve on, I would say, any of these trucks is, uh, is you have to turn the ignition on and then click a button. Like, what? why? So turning the ignition on, starts up easily, 94,961 miles, very healthy. Uh, it's cold right now. Best detailer in the world right here, east side detailing. So you can hear the exhaust, that signature V10 sound. Really nice. It also does have a trailer hitch. Let me give it some gas so you can hear it. Sounds good. Let's go for a ride. Okay, so let's start it up. Key on, you can't turn it. You gotta click the button. No check engine lights, it's cold right now. You got an oil temperature gauge here that's factory. You do have the radio and you do have cold air and heat. Heat is hot. 
Uh, it's showing that I'm getting 9.3 miles per gallon right now, and that is definitely true. So this thing just drinks the fuel. So you have a Hearst pistol grip shifter here. It does actually fit nicely. There's no marring in the, in the billet aluminum. Uh, clutch is easy, so you can put it in gear. The emergency brake holds nicely, and you don't have to do anything. You just pull the clutch out, and it'll start moving. Suspension feels good. It is firm. Let's put our seat belts on for safety. We're gonna go left here on to Anglers Avenue. We'll get on to Marina Mile, and we'll go to our test strip. All the gauges work well. It has a 160 mile per hour speedometer. I'm pretty sure that this out of the box was like 153 miles per hour was what it was. Correct me if I'm wrong. Gearing's nice. There's no funny sounds from the rear end. Really easy to drive. Brakes feel great too. All right. Doesn't have any pop outs. Once we get it to operating temperature, we'll be able to, I'll be able to show you how amazing this sounds when the air is coming through that motor. Interior is very nice. Uh, you do have a storage box here, uh, coin holder, power port, and then this folds up. So if you want to do, do ha want someone else to come in here, you can, but they're going to be, you'll be shifting in between their legs. Headliner is nice. Uh, you'd have multiple options for, for this. So it says that we have distance still empty, mileage, time, and then we'll just leave it on the economy before it tells you what, how your economy is. We're going to turn left here, continue on with the drive. All the windows work as they should. That's an automatic down window. That window works. And then uh, you do have power mirrors, which do operate on both sides. I'm just doing this one right now. Um, there's another power port right here. And then there's plenty of storage. Uh, what else could I tell you? I mean, basically you're buying this truck because it has a Viper motor and, and it's, it's pretty unique. A lot of Dodge guys don't even know what this is. So you, you were telling me you had a guy pull up next to you with a Hemi and he was asking what the SRT 10 stood for. And I was like, man, he shouldn't even be in a Dodge if he doesn't know what this is. Uh, we'll take it for a spin here. Um, once we get into an open area, we'll be able to go through the gears. They're long. 94,963 miles. It's really healthy though. I actually bought this from a good friend of mine. So we're, there's a lot of bumps on this road. You're gonna be able to see how the suspension reacts. At first I had to get used to it because driving normally an F-150, when you go over bumps, it's, it's more of a, a smooth transition. This is a lot firmer. You can actually see the difference. So look at this black truck right here as it goes over the bumps. You can see how smooth it is. This is a lowered stance, bigger wheels. Um, I believe they do have bigger brakes on this one. I believe it's from a 2500. But there's no funny sounds, feels really good. Once we turn left here, I'll, go th I'll row through the gear for you so you can see how it feels. So we're in first gear. I have a feeling we're probably gonna break loose. to 80 miles per hour. This thing is fast. Brakes feel good. There's no fade. And that sound that the V10 makes, yes please, give me more. <laughs> That's fast for a, for a pickup truck. You, you know, you would never think that it would be that quick. So speaking of lightnings, we are going to keep five in stock at all times. And I'm going to keep on looking for these types of trucks that are really clean and really nice. Something that you could jump into and enjoy without having to do anything to. You can give us a call at 954-363-2261. We're going to get some outside shots. If you guys have any questions about financing or transporting any of the vehicles on our inventory, you can go to our transport tab and fill that out there, and we'll be able to help you out.
enjoyed that test drive, if you have any questions, give us a call at 954-363-2261. See you later.